Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install or reformat Windows 10 in your PC. There are many reasons we need to reformat our computer. Either our computer doesn't start, hard drive is full, too many errors, you want to upgrade your system, computer is running slow or you have a hard drive problem. In my laptop case, I have a hard drive problem so I need to change it. You can notice this when booting the system, you might get a recovery screen stating that the system can't load and or locate certain files. This is directly related to a hard drive malfunction. I tried recovery options but after a week, it still come with the same problem. In this time of recording, it so happened that it's a lockdown caused by the pandemic so it's hard to go out and buy a new one. For now, I will replace the hard drive with my external storage. Hope this worked for a year. This hard drive capacity is 500 megabytes compared to the original hard drive which is 1 terabytes and is quite good. Before installing fresh Windows 10 OS, I have to disassemble first my laptop and replace it with the new hard drive. Basically, formatting a computer is actually formatting a hard drive because each and every file that is seen on the computer is actually present in that drive. Now the new hard drive is attached, it's time to install fresh Windows 10 OS. Here is my installation driver and I have to insert before turning on the laptop. For instruction on how to create an installation media, I have separate video for it and you can found the link below. Now that the PC is turned on, you have to change the boot order to access the USB drive. Generally accessing a computer's BIOS or UEFI involves holding a specific key during the boot process often escape, F1, F2, F12, or delete. So figure out which key your computer uses. In your computer's BIOS or UEFI, you'll need to find the settings for boot order. This may show up in a section called boot or boot order. This decides which devices are used first when the computer starts up. The computer won't boot into the Windows 10 installation tool unless the drive it's on is higher up in the boot order than the drive holding the computer's current operating system. You should move the drive, whether it's your USB drive or a DVD drive, to the top of the boot order menu. You may also need to disable secure boot if your computer uses it. After changing the boot order, go to exit, select save, and exit. Your computer should now boot into the Windows 10 installation tool, which will guide you through the process of setting up Windows 10 on your computer. Boot setting is done and we're on the Windows setup now. From here, just click next to continue or you can change the language you prefer. Then click install now button to proceed. From here, just select one, then click next. Then click accept box then click next, then select custom, Install Windows only. Now, we have an unallocated drive. Just select the drive, then click New, then click Apply to create partition. Or you can just click Next directly and the system will automatically create default partition for you. Now the system issue a notification saying to ensure that all Windows features work correctly, Windows might create additional partitions for your system files. Just press OK again to continue. Now our primary disk is pre-selected, just press next to proceed. Wait for Windows 10 to install. This process may take anywhere from half an hour to several hours, depending on your computer processing speed. After the setup, you need to continue with the out-of-box experience to create a new account and configure your preferences. This guide follows the out-of-box experience available with Windows 10 version 2004, May 2020 update, but depending on the release you are trying to install, the steps may be slightly different. To complete the out-of-box experience on a new install of Windows 10, just follow the instruction. For now, I will select Use Express Settings, to allow all these features turned on. 
anytime, I can come back and disable it. If you want to disable some or all of these feature, you can select customize settings to toggle of any feature you don't want. Here in my create an account for this PC, just supply the given entries, then click next to proceed. Now Windows installation and configuration is done. The next step here is to install all the drivers and needed applications but I am not going to show in this video. To check for uninstalled drivers, go to control panel and select device manager. Here under the other drivers shows all uninstalled drivers. My advice here is just go to other PC, upload the Ethernet or network driver, then go back to your PC and install it. The visit control panel, then open device manager, then right click on uninstalled driver then select search for drivers from internet. This covers how to install and or reformat Windows 10 in your PC. If you have a question to ask, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.